Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can fix the touch ID not working after you replace your new string. Now, there are a few things that could cause uh, the problems. The easiest is to uh, restart your phone and uh, see if that works. So, just go in and restart your phone. You may want to uh, also uh, back up your phone and try to do a reset. Sometimes a reset or a restart of the phone can uh, uh, fix the issues with the touch ID is not working now you can also uh, check on the screen here as you can see in the video uh, to see if uh, everything's on the screen work so uh, just tap and drag and make sure the 3D touch is working everything is working because uh, sometimes the cables uh, is damaged then you can have an issues So while uh, when you press on the home key, you can see the screen will go back to the home screen. However, sometimes um, the cable is damaged and making the touch ID is not working. So even though the home key or the home button is working, uh, a damaged uh, flex cable can cause the touch ID not to work. Uh, if you uh, stay on the video for a while, uh, near the end, you will see that um, how we can resolve uh, the, uh, these issues. You can see here uh, when I try to go in, it always uh, fail. So I'm just going to uh, turn off the screen now. So we switch off the phone. And then try to restart again and you can see it once more time just to uh, restart the phone and check to make sure that, um, it works before you want to try anything else now you can see it said touch id is not working from that pop pop up now I'm going to touch id here so I'm just wait for this code to uh, go away okay so let's go into settings then touch id and I'll put in the passcode and you can see it says touch ID is uh, still failing so um, just gonna switch off the phone and open it up and we're gonna inspect the home key flex cables and the uh, flex cable at the connector right here so we remove the screws to uh, disconnect the screen so check the flex cable right there. Sometimes, uh, if it's not correct, uh, connected correctly, it can cause an issue. Also on the home button here, I'm just gonna remove the metal cover. So during the assembly, uh, something could go wrong, or something does not sit in place correctly, it can cause an issue. So you want to uh, remove this metal plate. Uh, check the home button make sure the cable is not broken bent or anything disconnect the flex right there and try to connect again now you also may want to take the chance to uh, inspect the flex cables the touch ID extension cable right there set up a check make sure all the pins is uh, not damaged make sure that it sits properly in its place and try to reconnect again and push the home button down, make sure everything sit in the right place then we're just going to put the metal cover back on so a flex cable uh, right there uh, if it's not working correctly, correctly it can cause an issues and uh, you may need to uh, if it's if it's an issue you may need to uh, try it on a uh, different screen so make sure that metal plate is nice and secure and we're going to uh, connect the screen again so with the touch ID error there are many different uh, things that can cause 
the font to display the same error so you may want to think about the process of what you've done and uh, try to uh, uh, try to figure out uh, what could goes on and uh, I suppose you can try the solution one by one and hopefully one of the solutions can fix your problem again when we are connecting uh, the screen to the board make sure um, all the connector are connected properly make sure that you don't use any force that cause the pin to misalign so here uh, take your time and connect so I'm just going to turn on the phone again and we'll check to see if we still have an issue with the touch ID so there is a touch ID is still not activated so I go down to the touch ID and passcode and I'll key in my passcode you can see touch ID is still failed so what you want to do at this point is to move the home button back to your old uh, LCD and I have uh, moved it back to the old LCD already now also I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video uh, you need to have the original Apple home button for this to work so if you uh, bought a, uh, a screen that comes with the home button the home button uh, will 100% will not work so make sure that you uh, um, transfer the old home button uh, from the broken screen over to the new screen otherwise it will not work so here is the old LCD so I'm just moving the button back over to the old LCD and you can see when I move the buttons back to the old LCD the home or the home uh, touch ID the home button touch ID is this working fine there's no issue with it the button is a bit stuck right there but never mind so we can clearly see that the home button or the touch ID is working fine so it has something to do with the other screens so in the older likely course it is the flex cables that runs behind the metal shield that is causing the problems uh, it could be the connectors or the flex cables but as you can see when I move the home button back to the original Apple screen it works fine so what I did is I uh, have another uh, spare screen uh, laying around so I um, put the home button into the new replacement screen it is a different screen than the one that I first uh, than the one that we first uh, look in the video so here is a second replacement screen and this time I have no problem with the touch ID and here you can see a touch ID is working uh, correctly so to uh, conclude uh, this video first we start your phone a few times and see if that helps uh, if it still doesn't work make sure you want to test it on your old uh, LCD because the OCD is working correctly and if it is uh, working correctly then that means uh, your flex cables on the new LCD or, or on the new screen is not working correctly and you need to uh, have it return and get a new one and that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos